We're excited to share a first with you on Fox 24 News Now's Spotlight Music Series. Anita Pringle, also known as Queen Cat, is a local hip hop and R&B artist. She's a gifted writer who has created incredible music and founded her own entertainment company. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Appreciate this is it. really exciting. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit, when did you start um, in music? Started when I was nine. Um, I released my first album at 15, 2006. Wow. So I'm kind of telling my age already. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, released my first album, They Should Have Never Turned My Mic On. And from then on, I've released multiple uh, mixtapes, four to be exact, um, four that got released. And um, worked with a lot of different DJs, DJ Cleave, um, DJ Tantrum. All sorts of people. DJ Anchor, all sorts of people, yeah. So. For those who don't really know the difference, what is the difference between an album and a mixtape? Um, in today's music, they all it correspond together, but like for hip hop heads like me, they got into it a long time ago. An album is a body of work that's original, all original music, all original lyrics. Um, a mixtape was you getting on other people's beats to show your versatility and your lyricism. So it's like you couldn't be considered a rapper if you couldn't rap on like an old, old school beat or a Lil Wayne or a Jay-Z beat, you know? So that was what mixtape was for, to show that you could get on anything and like kill it. Yeah. Love it. And so who are some of your inspirations? Um, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, as far as mixtape goes, um, Aaliyah, Michael Jackson, um, Whitney Houston. All the greats. Lauren Hill, yeah. All the greats. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Mm, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Oh, classic. Michael Jackson. Love him. So you created your own entertainment company, Queen mm -hmm. Cat Entertainment, mm -hmm. and you've also done some charity work with that. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it. Uh, we started in the park, um, Medway's Vehicle Park. Um, the last, I think, the first time was in 2009, if not earlier. And we would just, it was called the Concert for Change. And all the artists would come out, they would donate 20 canned can goods, and they would perform. And um, a lot of other people started coming out into the park as well, and they started bringing actual food and feeding the homeless. And because there's a lot of veterans in that area that are homeless, and they would just um, ask for things like socks and you know stuff to keep them war um, warm during that time of um, month, which we would do it in November. Um, and now we are at um, we moved to uh, Mount Corner. We have a uh, Love and Helping Hand Spiritual Center. And every October, we have a festival, an African festival, where we have like rides and games. And we just basically teach the community and the young ones about stuff that we didn't really learn about in school as African Americans. And, you know, it's great to see artists always getting out in the community. And speaking of getting out in the community, you have a bash coming yes. out. You're inviting everyone. It's the Make It Rain yes. bash for make your it rain, birthday make it rain. on Juneteenth, which is <laughs> such a big event historically. Juneteenth, yes. what is it like to have your birthday fall on such an important date in African American history? In all honesty, it's very exciting now because, honestly, I just started learning about Juneteenth um, years ago. Um, not even years ago, I would say 2015 when the actual, um, the Charleston 9 happened. This is when I started becoming more aware of what happened and why people were so angry, you know, with us. And so it made me dug a little bit deeper into my history because that's not something we learned about in school. We didn't learn about it Juneteenth in school. So um, I would say between this year and last year, I started learning that, hey, something big really happened on my birthday. It was like our 4th of July. So, you know, that's, that's something to be proud of. And it actually explains more of why I am the way I am mentally and why I think the way that I think. So it all makes sense, you know. So this is the first year I'm actually celebrating you know, um, my birthday along mm -hmm. with Juneteenth and... You're celebrating your birthday, a huge event. It's going to be really exciting. Yes. Tell us the details. Uh, I have multiple artists coming out um, that's going to perform. Bria the Poet, Gina uh, Mocha, uh, myself, and... Um, it's going to be Saturday, June 15th, June 15th. 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. Yes. at Vivid Event Center on Dorchester Road. It's free. Free. But you'll have a bunch of merchandise available yes. for purchase, and it's all going to fund your incredible music yes. journey. Yes, more visuals, um, more touring, uh, more merchandise. You know, Great. a lot of people love my shirts and different things. I try to put out a message in everything that I do, so... Um, I want to give you the entertainment for free. We can party. We can have a good time. It's awesome. Yeah. It's going to be sweet. Yeah. And really quick, how can people get in touch with you and what will you be performing for us today? 
www.iamqueencat.com. All social media, the, um, I am underscore Queen Cat. K W E E N K A T T is how you spell Queen Cat. Um, I will p be performing a new single uh, called 1111. All right, 1111 after this.